there's a human element to this too in that I just had a talk with uh, His Eminence Cardinal Muller about that here at the Catholic Identity Conference so if your, your viewers could check that interview out where His Eminence seemed to really want to stress what's happening with the Great Reset Agenda 2030 and I asked him about that and I think what he's what he's getting at is that even if you're a lazy naive company man bishop who's been shackled with the, you know, collegiality your entire life you have got to start realizing they're coming after you. Hmm. They're coming after you, just like Cardinal George predicted was going to happen. You have these bishops, his successor of, of his, his own successor, is going to end up in jail and prison when he dies. You know, that's what they want. And there's a human element to that, where even you know a mediocre bishop can go, "What is happening here? They want to they want to get an AI Bible now? These new World Economic Forum people and Francis is partnering with them. What's going to happen to us?" Because, you know, like, for example, the traditional Latin mass movement in France, this is by way of giving you an example of what might happen at the conclave, hopefully, please God. The Traditionalist Custodes has had zero impact on the church in France, <laughs> except in one direction, many more traditional Latin masses in France. <laughs> they have lost exactly two masses in Paris, traditional Latin masses. Everywhere else is growing. And I asked him, a friend of mine who was there, I said, why is this? He says, because the bishops realize that there's no future here. Their churches are empty. They have, no, they have no prestige left. There's nothing left. But the one thing they are seeing positive is the rise of traditional Catholicism. So at the next conclave, it, this is why it's so important, in my opinion, that we don't jump the shark. We stay together on, on, on what's happening, how to resist properly. Because at the next conclave, do you really think it's going to be so unusual that a number of cardinals we would never have expected or suspected of being anything to do with, you know, sympathy with us, may say, this has gone too far. Francis is literally handing the church over to the United Nations. Now, it's been going on for a long time, it's not just Francis. But what is the future of my episcopacy? What is the future of me? What's going to happen to us? When you see the lockdowns coming with the global lockdowns that are based on the lockdowns of COVID and all of that, if you're paying attention at all as a bishop or cardinal, you have to be looking now and saying, this is not going to end well for us. Do we want to do Pope Francis II? Do we really want to do that at the next conclave? And there's, I think, where you have like maybe some, some human hope or expectation that even humanly speaking, they might want to back away from this. Is it, It's not going good. It's not going good at all. And then you throw in the Holy Ghost and the divine element and the grace and all of our prayers, and who knows? We keep hearing about the church in Africa, the church in India. Well, think about what they've suffered, the church, the people of Africa, the people at the hands of a guy like Bill Gates and the Gates Foundation. They know what's going on there. So when they see the Vatican formally partnering and even be, to some, some of their projects financed by the Bill and Melinda Gates or the Bill Gates Foundation, they're not going to go along with that.